Good Friday morning, everyone. Welcome to Atlanta & Company. I'm so excited you're spending your morning with us. I'm Christine Pallara. The weekend is here. Uh, I'm not, by the way, not that I'm doing anything very exciting. It's just, you know, to say that the weekend is here, we can sleep in, we can relax, we can do chores. Okay, that doesn't sound fun either. But you know what's fun and who is fun? Kara Kinnear with All Good Stories. Kara, guess what? One of our favorite people what? left gifts on my front porch. Guess who that was? What? Sherry, our stress Ew. therapist. Yes. She, and look, she gave us my calendar, which you know I can't live without my daily calendar. So now I feel like it is officially a new year. And today for Friday the 22nd, it says, all my needs are being taken care of, for mm. which I am grateful. I accept my good with joy and pleasure. Sherry, Thank you so much. I love oh. it. And she got one for Trent, Haley, and you. So I'll make my rounds and drop them off this weekend. Great way to start the day. That's so nice. Thank you for sharing those words of wisdom on this glorious Friday, too. And I love Sherry. And I have to tell you to Sherry that Christine is always on me to peel my calendar back. Because I'm like the girl that, you know, it's May 5th and it says January 3rd. But I did it yeah, for three days. Not cool, Kara. But I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do better this year. She's so thoughtful. That's so kind. Um. Yeah. And thank so you for great. sharing that with us. Let's get started on this Friday with an it's all good story. And we're gonna start with a teacher. We haven't highlighted a teacher for a minute here. But um, this yeah. is a great one to get back in the teacher group with because they're doing so much. Um, as we know, we all became extra appreciative of them yes. since 2020 started. And. This is about a seventh grade English teacher. His name is um, Mr. Evans. I was going to call him Nate, but you don't call it teacher by the first name. name. Uh, Mr. Evans right. is a seventh grade teacher. And when he started doing virtual school, he noticed how a lot of kids' setups weren't ideal to properly learning. And he thought, you know, right. it does not matter if you um, have everything, you don't have enough. Wherever you happen to fall on that spectrum, learning should be easy enough for all of us so that we are capable and we can go into the world prepared. So he thought, you know what, the least I can do is make desks for all of these kids. So he started a nonprofit called Woodworking for Purpose. And what Woodworking for Purpose oh. does is it recruited volunteers. So there are about 50 of them. They have made 600 desks thus far. <gasps> they are hoping to make 2020 to commemorate the year. So they have a ways to go, but um, they are diligently wow. working. It's such a community involved project because he has recruited churches and volunteers and and it, it brings people together safely and socially distance, of course, but each desk costs around $25 to make. So if you would like to sponsor a desk for a child, you can. They have a Facebook page, um, Woodworking for Purpose, um, and you can go there and see how to get involved. But just a cool thing he was doing, I yes. loved he said, Christine, in the article that, you know, he didn't become a teacher uh, for summer break. He became a teacher to help kids learn, and um, he wants to facilitate that yeah. in every way possible. So thank you, Mr. Evans. Uh, we yes. appreciate you, and we salute all the teachers. Yeah, so yes. nice. And Kara, we know that we have plenty of uh, people watching, plenty of viewers, and especially if we post it, who are handy and who would like to help out mm -hmm. in creating something that's going to help these kids yeah. uh, have a better environment for learning. So thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. And thank you to Mr. Nate. I know. Yes. Very cool. Yes, very, very cool. Um, this next story, I loved this story so much. Uh, it struck a chord with me because, I mean, selfishly, it kind of reminded me of my husband a little bit. But it's about a young man. Um, his name is D. Mitchell. And D. Mitchell is a walk-on player, walk-on basketball player at Oklahoma State University. But here's where he reminded me of my husband. He um, is a hard worker. He's one of those kids that shows up early and leaves late. He helps the oh, other kids on the team. That. Just an all-around um, decent, good human being, a great role model for the other people on the team. And when COVID hit, his family, like a lot of us, um, also struggled. So D took a 40-hour full-time week, per, 40 hours per week job at Walmart, and um he, you know, he was a little nervous because he didn't know if he was going to be able to continue his role on the basketball team, which meant so much to him. But his coach, after three years of him being a walk-on player, had this to surprise him with. So he walked into the Walmart where he worked and check out what happened. 
He mentioned he's been with us for three years, to, starting today. He's done so much for our program. I thought today was a great opportunity, three years later, to let him know that he's going to be on scholarship. Uh, <laughs> Boyton there, Coach Mike Boyton was telling him that he now has a scholarship. I'm so happy for him. He now has a full scholarship, so he's able to do all the things he wants to do, and he doesn't have to be worried about him taking care of his schooling. Sorry, would it touch me? Um, but yeah, he just said he'd simplify their program, and he wanted to help him as much as possible. So congratulations, and um, it's just a cool story, and we wanted to share it with you. <laughs> oh my God, Kara, that's making me cry. I just love that. I love, <laughs> so love, sweet. love. Um, the goodness and the kindness that we've seen from people um, with acts big and small um, during this time. That's just incredible. And I love you, yeah. and I'm gonna drop off your calendar. I might stay for a cold Thank beer and socially distance with you. Okay. Please. I might. I don't know. Please. If you want me to. I would love it. Okay, I would guys, love if it. you have a, a fun or interesting, it's all good story for Kara, share it with us. It's facebook.com slash ATL and co or tweet us using that hashtag. It's all good. Indeed it is.